Balenciaga, a brand that currently dominates fashion conversations, has a complex history that has brought it to the forefront of the industry. This journey is marked by its founder's origins, its rise to prominence, its wartime associations, and its resurrection through creative direction. The story of Balenciaga begins with its visionary founder, Cristobal Balenciaga, who established the brand in the early 1910s. However, pinpointing the exact date of its inception is challenging due to Balenciaga's early successes even before formal business setup. His mother, Issa Galero, played a pivotal role in his development as a skilled seamstress, passing down her knowledge of sewing. This foundation enabled Balenciaga to create exceptional designs from a young age, including outfits for high society women. By age 22, Balenciaga had established his first couture atelier in San Sebastian, Spain. His clean lines and distinct Spanish influence set him apart as a designer. His early supporters, including the royal family, facilitated his rapid ascent in the fashion world. With the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War, Balenciaga relocated to Paris in 1937, where he gained recognition among fashion elites like Coco Chanel and Elsa Schiaparelli. Balenciaga's revolutionary influence became evident when he staged his first runway show in Paris in 1937. Despite the challenges posed by World War II, his designs garnered praise and captivated buyers and customers alike. The Nazi regime's appreciation for French couture spared Balenciaga's atelier, allowing him to continue creating garments during wartime. Although Balenciaga's connection to this period remains complex, his work during this time solidified his reputation as a fabric expert. Post-war Paris saw Balenciaga receive a consistent stream of high-quality fabrics from Italy, Spain, and France, thanks to exclusive contracts. This supply gave him a competitive edge, enabling him to create masterful designs that were distinctive for their clean lines and Spanish flair. His innovative designs, such as the mantle coat, balloon dress, and sack dress, propelled him to the forefront of fashion in the 1950s. Balenciaga's legacy continued to evolve through the 1960s, characterized by features like white collars, woolen fabrics, and cropped sleeves. However, the designer chose to close his house in 1968, a decision that marked the end of an era. Despite his death, the brand's name was sold, keeping its fragrance line alive. In 1986, Jack Bogart acquired Balenciaga's rights, aiming to resurrect the brand's fashion division. Under Jacques Bogart's ownership, Balenciaga made a return to the fashion scene in the late 1980s. Michael Goma became the brand's head designer and initiated the Ready to Wear line. The brand's resurgence included the launch of the Ready to Wear line, Tan Labor Lady. Although sources differ on whether this was one or two lines, Goma's tenure saw mixed reviews for collections, yet the brand's association with luxury was re-established, aided by the reintroduction of fur and the opening of a Tokyo store. The creative direction shifted with Nicolas Gesquier's appointment in 1997. Gesquier, at just 25 years old, played a pivotal role in reshaping Balenciaga into the luxury brand it is today. He steered the brand toward innovative designs that resonated with audiences. This transformation marked the turning point that brought Balenciaga back to prominence, defining its modern identity and sparking the public's renewed interest in the brand's collections. As Balenciaga evolved, embracing creative expression, innovation, and controversy, its journey from humble beginnings to its current status as a fashion powerhouse remains a captivating narrative in the world of style. Jessica's transformative influence on the Balenciaga label cannot be understated. Prior to Jessica's involvement, Balenciaga found itself in a challenging position. Some even argue it was stagnating or on the verge of failure. However, Jessica Sheskier's strategic leadership over the span of 15 years revitalized the brand, turning it into one of the most captivating and dynamic names in the entire fashion industry. 
One of his pivotal contributions was the invention of the iconic Lariat bag in 2001, a design that remains immensely popular and sought after to this day. Intriguingly, even after the acquisition of Balenciaga by Gucci in 2001, Jessica's creative prowess didn't go unnoticed. Gucci reportedly reached out to him, seeking to glean insights into his success in order to enhance their own understanding of the industry. The recognition of Jessica's genius was evident, as his innovative strategies had not only resuscitated Balenciaga, but had also positioned him as a true visionary. As his tenure progressed, Jessica's creative journey at Balenciaga concluded with the spring-summer 2013 collection, characterized by its classic minimalism, slim silhouettes, and a restrained color palette. It's worth noting that his successor embraced similar qualities, reflecting the brand's recognition of the momentum they had achieved under Jessica's guidance. Alexander Wang took over as the creative head, ushering in a new era, although his time was marked by some controversies and departures. Under Wang's leadership, Balenciaga faced certain challenges. The brand attempted legal action against Nicole Sheskier, accusing her of damaging their brand image with her remarks. There were also significant design changes, including the 2013 redesign of the Balenciaga logo, the first alteration since 1917. Additionally, the brand's adherence to minimalism faced criticism as the trend started to wane in popularity by 2015. Wang eventually parted ways with Balenciaga, leading to the next transformative chapter, the introduction of Demna Vasalia as creative director in 2015 marked a bold and strategic move for Balenciaga. Gvasalia, previously known for launching his own line Vetements in 2014, brought fresh perspectives to the brand. His appointment was indicative of Balenciaga's readiness to take risks and rejuvenate its sales, which had been plateauing. Vasalia's impact was felt immediately as he debuted his first collection for Balenciaga in 2016. Drawing inspiration from the Balenciaga archive, Vasalia masterfully reimagined the brand's signatures for the modern woman. His debut collection, though met with mixed reviews at the time, demonstrated his ability to create a successful interpretation of Balenciaga's legacy. Notably, Vasalia's ability to challenge conventional norms was evident right from the start, setting the tone for his tenure. Vasalia's approach to design is best characterized by his willingness to embrace controversy and provoke thought. This characteristic has been evident in each collection he has produced, creating viral moments that spark discussions and drive attention to Balenciaga. The introduction of the ugly sneaker, the Balenciaga Triple S, the unconventional croc bag, the collaboration with Gucci and Adidas, and the play with pop culture references like The Simpsons have all contributed to Balenciaga's relevance and influence. Two notable collections that have underscored Gvasalia's impact on Balenciaga include the Autumn Winter 2022 Couture Show and the Spring Summer 2023 collection. The former, resonating deeply with the Russo-Ukrainian conflict, showcased Gvasalia's ability to infuse emotional depth into his work. The latter collection displayed Gvasalia's inclination to explore profound questions about fashion and its relevance in the modern age, challenging traditional notions of couture. As Balenciaga continues to evolve under Gvasalia's creative direction, his genius in pushing boundaries, asking critical questions, and challenging industry norms remains evident. His designs may not always adhere to conventional notions of beauty, but they consistently provoke thought and generate discussion, hallmarks of a designer who is shaping the discourse in the fashion world.